Welcome back to NASCAR Today. In this video, we'll dive into Ross Chastain's brutal response to the false accusations made by Christopher Bell during the Richmond race. But before we explore Chastain's reaction, let's first examine the thrilling events that unfolded on the track and the shocking claims that Christopher Bell directed towards him. Furthermore, stay tuned, as we'll also be delving into William Byron's perspective on the entire incident. So, let's get started. As the Richmond race heated up, Bell found himself in a fiery on-track skirmish with none other than Ross Chastain, a moment that would spark a war of words between the two talented drivers. Following the race, Christopher Bell talked with Noah Lewis to discuss the day's events, including a dramatic incident involving William Byron. With just 21 laps remaining, Byron spun out on the restart, a mishap that Bell couldn't help but attribute to Chastain's aggressive driving. As Bell recounted the fateful moment, he didn't mince words when describing Chastain's actions. He compared the number one driver to a wrecking ball, accusing him of forcing a three-wide situation at the last possible second without leaving enough space for the other drivers to navigate safely. Dowell's frustration was intense as he laid blame squarely at Chastain's feet for disrupting the flow of the race and causing unnecessary chaos on the track. Bell's frustration was evident as he related Chastain to a wrecking ball, stating, I mean, the wrecking ball came in and made us three wide at the last second and there wasn't enough room to be through it. The tension between the drivers didn't end there. During his post-race interview with Fox, Bell continued to express his criticism of the number one trackhouse driver Ross Chastain. He fed into the ongoing narrative of Chastain being a hyper-aggressive driver by saying, it was a pretty standard restart with the number one Ross Chastain behind you. I tried to protect him from going to the inside and he still made it three wide there at the last minute, and there wasn't enough room. In the highly charged atmosphere of a race, emotions can run high and initial perceptions can sometimes be clouded. Following the dramatic incident with William Byron, Christopher Bell initially held Ross Chastain responsible for the mishap. However, upon reflection and after reviewing the footage, Bell came to the realization that the fault was his own. Acknowledging his mistake, Bell took to Twitter to issue an apology to Byron, stating, After watching the replay, I saw there was much more room than I thought in the heat of the moment. Sorry, William Byron. While Bell had apologized to Byron, it's worth noting that he also owed Chastain an apology for his false accusations, isn't it? Tell us in the comments section. When asked about the incident, Byron offered a balanced perspective, attributing responsibility to both Bell and Chastain. He explained that Bell's number 20 car had dive-bombed him from the inside, a move likely influenced by Chastain's number one Chevy. Despite being spun out, Byron left the track with a positive outlook, confident in the knowledge that Hendrick Motorsports would continue providing him with competitive cars and more opportunities for victories in the future. Byron recounted the incident saying, it looked like the one was inside the 20, and the 20 just overcooked the corner and had the fronts locked up and nailed us in the left rear, so I was just kind of restarting fourth there and trying to stay tight to the nine and get a good restart, I just got tagged in the left rear, so yeah, just a dive bomb move on the inside on his part, and it is what it is. Despite the setback, Byron remained optimistic about his performance and future prospects. He added, I had a great race car. The Raptor Chevrolet was awesome all day and we will just keep bringing fast race cars like that and we will get a lot more wins. It was looking like it could be another win before the caution. That's the way it goes. Let's now delve into Ross Chastain's response to the wrecking ball label, awarded to him by Joe Gibbs racing driver Christopher Bell. Chastain made no effort to conceal his frustration and disappointment with the false accusation leveled against him by the younger racer. Chastain's aggressive driving style has been a hot topic in the cup garage, attracting criticism from many of his rivals, including seasoned veterans. When asked for his reaction to being labeled a wrecking ball, Chastain responded candidly, noting that Bell's critique is not unlike that of other drivers on the grid. He remarked, he can say what he wants. Like other guys, he walks right by me. It doesn't say anything to me. So if he thinks it looks like I touched anybody and it's down there on my line. 
Chastain went on to assert that he did not make contact with the cars of Byron or Bell during the race. He emphasized the importance of basing arguments on facts rather than opinions, saying, I don't think that I touched William, so I don't think that there was contact with William. I think we gotta say the facts and not opinions. Chastain further clarified his position, adding, Yeah, I never saw the 24, so I was underneath the 20, but I didn't touch the 20 either. So, I mean, if he's gonna call me a wrecking ball, I just don't understand. Ross Chastain also offered his perspective on his car's performance during the race, attributing the challenges faced to the presence of dirty air. He believed that under such conditions, Christopher Bell, Josh Berry, and race winner Kyle Larson had superior cars. However, Chastain remained optimistic that with more clean air, the Trackhouse team could have taken the lead from Hendrick Motorsports. In his post-race interview, Chastain elaborated on the situation, saying, We definitely needed more to fight for the lead. For our jockey Chevy, it was probably more about clean air. There were better cars throughout the race that got cycled back on strategy. For our group, the 5, the 9, the 20 was probably a little better, but out of the Chevys I thought that in clean air that any of us could lead. Chastain also took the opportunity to commend the efforts of the winning team, stating, hats off to the 5 teams, Kyle and everyone at HMS. Chevrolet keeps locking down these wins with the bow tie. We're proud to be part of it. Now, summarizing the whole scenario, we investigated the heated exchange between Ross Chastain and Christopher Bell during the Richmond race. Bell initially accused Chastain of aggressive driving and causing William Byron to spin out. However, after reviewing the footage, Bell realized his mistake and apologized to Byron but still owed Chastain an apology. Byron shared a balanced perspective on the incident, attributing responsibility to both Bell and Chastain. Chastain defended himself, stating he didn't touch Byron or Bell during the race and argued for sticking to facts rather than opinions. Despite the controversy, all drivers remained optimistic about their future races and team performances. So, now it's your turn. What do you think about this whole situation? Were the accusations legit or just a result of those high-octane emotions? Whose team are you on and do you think there's something more we haven't uncovered yet? We're super curious to hear your thoughts, so hit us up in the comments below. And hey, if you're as hooked on this racing analysis as we are, smash that like button, share this with all your racing-obsessed friends, and hit subscribe to stay in the loop with more crazy racing stories like this one. Catch you later, speedsters, and keep living life in the fast lane.